Hello again, everyone. It is 8.55, 42 degrees. I'm Tim, checking in with Marty for your forecast. It's a little gray out there, but uh, shower activity is a great distance away, to be honest about it. A touch of afternoon rain expected, 55, maybe an evening shower, then just cloudy, 40 degrees overnight. I'm talking about that shower activity. Pretty good distance away. Watch for that afternoon uh, sprinkle, though. Take it away, Tim. Thank you, Marty. A peeping Tom suspect at Johns Hopkins University has been arrested. Amy Kawada has details. The suspect was allegedly in the woman's restroom here on campus at Johns Hopkins University, and a student said when she walked inside the woman's restroom, she noticed he had his phone out and tried to record her. On Sunday, Baltimore City Police arrested and charged Zachary Campbell following accusations of a peeping Tom incident. Court records show a man with the same name and date of birth was arrested for similar incidents at least twice in the past. Reporting from Johns Hopkins University, I'm Amy Kuwata for WJZ. A woman is accused of trying to set a place of worship on fire while people were inside. Heather Meisel is facing several charges, including attempted first degree murder and arson. On Thursday, officers were called to the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses on William Street in Glen Burnie. They found a broken door and inside the remnants of a Molotov cocktail. No one was injured. But investigators believe she acted alone. Fire investigators are working to learn what caused an overnight row house fire in North Baltimore. The two alarm blaze broke out in the third floor of a home just after two this morning at 25th and near Charles Street. The uh, extra crews were called there and they were needed to be sure the fire did not spread to the roof of the house. No one was hurt. A 22 year old man has died after falling while hiking at Rock State Park in Harford County. Joseph Bruxton Buxton of Howard County was climbing to what's called the King and Queen seats and lost his footing and fell. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The Waterfront Partnership needs your help naming the city's newest trash wheel. You'll find this new trash wheel at the mouth of the Gwens Falls. It will be the biggest one ever built. You can vote and submit your name online right now. The new partnership or the partnership will be uh, rolling out the new names and a poll will be taken to make those picks.